Good morning, Hornets, or afternoon, or whenever you may be watching this. Today is Thursday, February 16th, and this is live from 205. Now for your weekly TV and film history recap. This week in 1931, the original Dracula movie was released, and 19 years later, in 1950, Disney's Cinderella premiered, saving the studio from bankruptcy. First up, for this week's videos, let's head into the halls and see how students do with some trivia. Who am I here with? Hamza. Antonio. Do you know the largest country in the world? Russia. China. Russia is correct. All right, do you know the largest organ in the body? Your skin. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's correct. What is the state, the first state in America? Florida. <laughs> uh, Arkansas. Incorrect, it is Delaware. Who has the most rings in NBA history? Bill Russell. 11 rings. Yeah. Bill Russell. Correct. <laughs> Uh, name a golfer other than Tiger Woods. No clue. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Now for some quick announcements. PVTV is now on TikTok. Follow us at PVTV Crew, same as our Instagram handle. So give us a follow there if you haven't already. Seniors, do you drive to school? Well, make sure you are parking in the right spot. Not sure which spot is yours? Check the list outside Mr. September's office. As we head into our midwinter break, odds are you'll need something to watch. Let's check out Kyle and his review on 2010 cult classic Pilgrim vs. the World. I recently watched the 2010 movie Scott Pilgrim vs. the World and here are my thoughts. This movie is well known for being highly stylized and in a lot of ways it looked and sounds very different to your average movie. This makes it very fun to watch and adds endless rewatchability because you notice new things every time you watch. The plot is very creative, and initially it seems like your typical romantic comedy with just a weird sense of humor, but about 30 minutes in, it takes a really unexpected turn and it goes in really fun places. Speaking of humor, this movie wasn't afraid to essentially be a live-action cartoon, and there are some really great scenes, like this clip here. What is Scott here? Uh, you know what? He just left. Another thing I liked about this movie was the soundtrack. As someone who really enjoys music, a lot of the movie was dedicated to some really awesome original songs. Overall, this movie was really fun to watch, and I would recommend it to anyone because it has something for everyone. That does it here for all of us this week in 205. Enjoy your break and see you next time, Hornets.